basic trip pass right here. So, uh, so this is the AppQuest portal. As you can see, I'm running Chrome here. It's an HTML5 compatible browser. And you see I have a set of icons on this web page. And these represent applications that are being reloaded from this uh, beefy laptop that I have down here. Okay? So I'm going to pull up an application. I'm going to pull up Visio. Okay? And uh, Visio see, came up pretty quick. And Visio is not running, obviously, on my Mac. Visio is not available for the Mac. And uh, let's open a uh, let's open a, a uh, Visio image. And uh, so, as you can see here, I have the whole Windows interface here. All the uh, all the widgets operate when I run the uh, when I run the uh, mouse over them, the pointer over them, and uh, it works just like Visio would work in Extreme. Oops, twice. Do that, but okay, I'll show you like this. So as you can see here, I'm just dragging and dropping, manipulating the image. Uh, let's scale up our server. Okay, so this is Visio, a point-and-click Windows program. This technology is applicable to any Windows application, as well as on other platforms. So, now this is a standard point-and-click app that I've shown here for Outlast, okay? But the, the test of a graphics remoting technology is what do you do with more sophisticated interfaces? It's like, what do you do with live motion video? So what I think I'm going to do here now is I'm going to close this tab, and I'm going to move back here, and I'm going to go to some uh, live motion video. Now, uh, one of my colleagues here, Jonathan Clark, who's going to come up and help me here a little bit with the demo, uh, he likes to do really adventurous uh, vacations, okay? And uh, But sometimes he sticks with his devices a little too long. So he went to Antarctica, believe it or not, a couple of years ago, and these are his home movies. But unfortunately, they're captured in one of those old proprietary formats, uh, Windows Media Player. And he's, <laughs> So, uh, so this is not at, this is not multimedia redirection. This format is not rendered directly in the browser. Okay, this is running Windows Media Player on that system down here, and we are application remoting its interface. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the typical Windows Media Player. I'm going to move the controls around. Okay, so here we go. And uh, so it just works by moving around. By the way, this is our project mascot. We named him uh, Kobus. And uh, the uh, kind of cute guy. So this is remoting a video using Windows Media Player as an application. Very cute little guy, isn't he? Okay? Now, this can deliver applications of all forms to endpoints of all forms. So let's switch our interface here now. And let's go over to Jonathan's uh, iPad. Okay? So now on the iPad, I think we'll, uh, Jonathan, shall we uh, tilt this like this? I think it looks better in uh, landscape mode. And I'll let you uh, play with it while I talk. So you can see in the corner here, we actually have uh, thumbnails of the application. And uh, you can see how fast you can actually load and press. You want to go, go back to the Visio one, Jonathan? Oh, oh, we'll do it in this way. I was going to show that. So there we go. So see, you pressed on the thumbnail and pulled up the app. So that's my same app. No. With my data. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that's the fun of doing demos live without an app. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Must be plugging the uh, iPad, right? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So let's go back to the uh, to what we're gonna show. So let's go to the.
see I can use the touch gestures on this. I'm going to go to the file here. It's uh, open and recent. And we have here a, a picture of our development team for Outlast. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I think given the fragility of the uh, video interface on the iPad, <laughs> okay, we'll leave it for that. We'll leave it for that. I'm going to try to type in there. Yeah. So while I'm talking, so this shows. So this is Outlast. Okay. This is a technology preview. I'm not announcing product with this today. Okay. But this technology, core technology, can deliver apps of all forms from what I call the personal cloud, meaning from a home system or your work physical system, from uh, enterprise applications, from the data center, and for apps as a cloud service. It's a really cool technology. And as you can see here, we already have this uh, rendering of pretty rich user experience. And we're going to continue to advance this. It's based on HTML5, which I didn't say earlier. We're using core HTML5 as a collection of technologies. It's not one thing. We're using a whole slew of standard HTML5 mechanisms. And then we've done a lot of sophisticated VMware innovations on top of it. So the bottom line is, this runs directly in any browser with no plugin. Okay? Uh, while at the same time, we have some uh, unique stuff we've 